licencia para divertirse en Tampa Beats. En esta oportunidad en el segmento vamos a hablar de las maravillas de Tampa, de lo bueno que hay en la ciudad. Por eso los hemos traído al Palacio del Doctor Patel. Fuimos invitados antes de que termine el palacio para conocer el inicio de su construcción. No solo conoceremos el palacio, sino también conoceremos a los seres humanos detrás de toda esta majestuosidad. Bueno amigos, ya estamos con el doctor Patel y su esposa. Así que vamos a conocer un poquito sobre quiénes son ellos. Doctor Patel, hello, how are you and how are you doing? Vene? Thank you, Vanessa, for having us here. We're doing wonderful. Oh, very nice. Dr. Patel, we would like to start from the beginning. Vamos a empezar desde el principio. And we would like to know where do you guys come from, how were you raised, you know, a little bit of a story of, of you two guys. So, Un poquito de la historia. I was born in Zambia, mm -hmm. grew up in Zambia, and went for my medical education to India and subsequently emigrated to United States of America. Mm -hmm. And she was... We were in the same medical school in India. I was born in India, in Gujarat, mm -hmm. and I, we were both medical students together. Uh, from there on, we um, fell in love. We finished our medical school, got married, came back to Africa, where his parents were. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we were there practicing medicine um, for four years, and then we decided to move to U.S. for more education and uh, building our future. Wow. And how did you guys decide to come here to Tampa? ¿Por qué decidieron venir aquí a Tampa, no? My brother had a motel near the Bush Gardens. And when you come from New York to Tampa, it was a no-brainer. Beautiful weather, sunshine, you can play golf on December, what more can you ask for? So we instantly decided that when we are done with our training, we will come to Tampa, Florida. Very, very good decision. Yes. <laughs> and, so and what about, like, what would be the thing that when you guys were growing up, growing up, when you were growing up, you had always in your mind, like maybe your parents told you or something that you you know, like a belief, ¿no? Algo que tenía siempre en la mente cuando estaba creciendo, el doctor y su esposa, una creencia que, lo, que los hizo ser lo que son ahora. ¿Qué podría ser eso? So there were two major emphases of my parents. Mm -hmm. My father was always focused on ensuring we get good education. So education was number one priority. Along with that character, was a second most important part. 
and my mother would say many times, be somebody, do something in the world that people will recognize you for doing something good. And those were the two guiding principles of our life. And I can tell that that is like in your heart because when you said it, you had a lot of emotion. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's very nice. In, um, in your career of entrepreneur, durante tu trayectoria como un entrepreneur, ¿qué ha sido lo que más te ha llenado de satisfacción? What will be what got you most satisfaction during the whole life, you know, helping people and doing what your mother told you? What, what could be the one thing that you say the that's the one? biggest challenge. Oh, sorry. <coughs> the biggest challenge I had experienced was to give up practicing medicine because as a doctor you were touching many, many lives. But I had to make some kind of decision. I believe God puts people on this earth with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And my skills, other than being a doctor, was also a very smart businessman, an entrepreneur. Mm. That's what you like, huh? And I do. <laughs> basically, I got into the insurance business vicariously. Mm -hmm. In my practice, I was never seeing a patient because of their insurance. But I was seeing a patient because he's a patient. So in the 80s when HMO came in, nobody wanted to take those patients. So at that time to serve the patients, the senior citizens of Florida and Tampa Bay area, I increased the number of practice locations and that's how I got it done. So everything started like in, a, in an effort to help the people, you know? And that's the important aspect. So I say people, if you do the right things for right reasons, the right result will follow. Wow, that's for everybody to remember, that phrase. Bueno, ahora sí nos va a contar lo que todos estamos esperando. ¿Por qué la construcción de este palacio tan majestuoso aquí en el medio de la ciudad? ¿Con qué motivo? ¿Qué lo inspiró? ¿Por qué lo hace? Ok, now is the time that everybody's waiting and we would like to know why building this wonderful palace here in the middle of the city, what it means to you, why, well, we're lucky in Tampa, we have it, but why is all this? So, I always believed in something big and grand. <laughs> My wife was always pushing for a smaller one. And my children did not like this type of structure. <laughs> okay. So I had challenges to convince everybody mm -hmm. that this is the right thing to do. Because for me, it's a legacy. Okay. But the legacy is not the building. The legacy is we are going to have my son, my two daughters, and six grandkids in this one location. My son will be with us here and the grandkids, and we will have a single kitchen for us. So, you know, in Hispanics, in Indians, the extended family is very important. In the Western culture, it's a nuclear family, husband, wife, and kids. Well, I believe in an extended family. So the hope is that with this structure, we will have a generation and a second generation all spending their lives in this location. 
So the legacy of having all the children here will be a more important aspect and there is no price or value you can add to that. Mm -hmm. And soon this dream will be something that will come true and you will see your grandkids playing, yes. you know, all the dinners with the family pretty soon. So the last words that you want to add that you gave in into whatever he wanted to build, ¿no? Las últimas palabras que nos quiere dejar la esposa porque la esposa ya dejó que que el doctor Patel haga lo que quería al final. Well, we did talk to our children and grandchildren and uh, actually the grandchildren got really excited because they love to come, they love to have the whole family together. Uh, so that was great and our children are uh, financially independent, they have their own businesses, their own life, but they love to meet us often. So this is the best way to meet us often, whenever <laughs> we want to, whenever they want to. Yeah. Yes, uh, just walk over, just walk, walk over. over. Yeah. So they are far enough when we don't want them <laughs> and they are close enough when we need them. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. And with those words, friends, this has been everything for Tampa Beach with Dr. Patel and the wonderful wife.